Hey guys, just another um, relatively quick video, just highlighting some um, slide protection, pass protection. Again, playing on default Heisman, and look what we have here. We have properly colored Notre Dame unis, which is a relief in a way. The lighting effects apparently turned the helmets doo-doo brown. <laughs> but here you have in a day game the proper colored unis Gunner Kyle the Tyler Eifert over the middle and this particular play I notice an overload blitz look to the left so what do I do? I slide protect to the left and you see the protection holes got a nice little throwing lane, nice little pocket and I'm able to get that pass off. Here it is again. Notice the overload blitz look. It ended up being a zone blitz. I believe it was five-man pressure. Let's take a look. So I slide protect to the left. Yep, five-man look. Looks like a five-man rush. Yep, five-man rush. And it seems like the line doesn't cave in backside like it did in previous years. So even if you slide protected last year or in previous years, your line had a tendency to just collapse on the opposite side. Unless you had a back end to block backside. Here I didn't have to leave a back end to block. I just was able to slide protect and pick up the rush. Everyone did their job and I was able to get the ball off. This line over this time overload blitz look to the right, slide protect to the right. And the back is in the block this time. There's a blitzer coming to the left, but he has way too much ground to cover. And here I I screw it up. Because I'm reading post route all the way, but I lead him toward the middle of the field too soon. You'll see what happens. See the blitzer there. He's just way too far to be a player in the or a factor in the play. Linebacker coming in. Two guys coming in there. Back sells out and picks one of them up. Line slide protects over to cover the rest. But here, I just lead the ball too soon. <laughs> and this is what happens as a result. Plunk. Right in the back. That's just me not being fully used to the passing controls yet and I beam my receiver right in the back and this is pin protection I see an A gap blitz look so I line audible to pinch protect back is in the block and I just throw a quick hitter to the flat and just get four or five yards. It's a heck of a lot better than having your quarterback eating turf. You know, it's just all about reading what you're seeing in front of you pre-snap and making adjustments. You know, don't just sit there and get your quarterback detonated. It's not perfect, but it certainly gets the job done. And just use your intuition and react to what's being done. And here's um, bonus zone blitz footage again. You see the night game lighting, doo doo brown helmets. Denar gets flushed out of there and he goes down. And actually, the way he kind of tumbles down has me. Looking forward to the Madden physics engine. Because you see he's... 
As you look at the blitz here, defensive end drops back. No throwing lane there. Blitzer. Linebacker cuts off that route. Here's the hot route, but um or the hot read, but Denard has already tucked the ball down and is in is in scramble mode. Back picks up one rusher, but my defensive end kind of spins off his block, hits Denard, and Denard, you know, tries his best to maintain his balance. Again, there's the hot read. Quite, but can't quite do it. And I get the sack. Denard is a headache and a half on Heisman, boy. And here it is again. I'm going back to Heisman. All my games against Michigan have been, you know, tough, grinded out affairs. And my game against Purdue that I played was a blowout. I, have the, I had the better team. I played the better game. And I was rewarded. So Heisman is playing the best it's had in a very, very long time. So, again, I'll have a full review when I play online and I'll get into more of things that are pet peeves and need to be polished and that should be up either sometime tonight or tomorrow and I'll talk to y'all later. Take care.